You know, as an actor, I should be able to play any person or any tree or any animal because that's my job and that's the requirements of my job. Scarlett Johansson recently said this in an interview and she was mocked all across the internet. Why? Well, let me answer that with a couple of questions. Was the ghost in the shell whitewash? Was it right for her to initially take the role of a trans man? Shouldn't these characters be played by actors who share the same identities as them? But the thing about actors is, well, they lie for a living, right? They put on accents, they dress differently, they alter their appearances, they can play animals or monsters as well. Then why aren't we angry about that? What's the difference between acting and this controversy surrounding cursing? Well, in order to understand this, I think that people need to know that people weren't angry that actors were doing their jobs. It was because of the little opportunities that certain actors will get because of this. For example, in an actor in a wheelchair is going to mostly be able to play characters in the wheelchairs. And if an able-bodied actor took that role, then the actor in the wheelchair would have less chances to showcase their talents. That's what they're addressing. More opportunities for people and more diversity on the screen. The problem is the writing and the casting. Because diversity is more than one black actor in the ensemble. For example, the new Little Mermaid movie comes to mind for me. For those of you who don't know, in the new live action version, Ariel is going to be played by African American actress Halle Bailey. Not to be confused with Halle Berry though, because I did and I was shocked that they hired a 50 year old actress to play a teenage girl, but no. Um, but people are angry about how Ariel was suddenly a different race. And there were comments on the internet saying, well, what if Mulan was played by a white actress? What would you say to that? Well, here is what I say. If the character's identity has something to do with the plot or the character arc, it shouldn't change. So The Little Mermaid is based on a Danish fairy tale, but her being Danish has nothing to do with the plot and it doesn't really affect her. But Mulan is about a girl saving China. If you change the country, it's no longer Mulan. We know the original story, the original cast, and those versions won't be erased. <coughs> the original Little Mermaid story, the Disney version or any other ones, will still exist. Actually, if we're not going to change anything, what's the point of rebooting something? Right? We don't need the same version of the same story. And I'm not saying any of this because it's 2019. I hate that. I hate that you have to do something because it's woke. I'm saying that we have to let a wide range of characters and actors to exist because people exist. It's not political. People are just there, and it should be reflected as that in stories as well. And if I were in a Hollywood movie, I'd be that golden gay diversity character, right? But I wasn't born for the purpose of being that one diverse person in the group of white friends, for example. Then why shouldn't it be that way in the media as well? If you can handle not just one, but two hamlets with lines, you can handle the new area. Thank you.